are we've come out we've had a late start i've tied my hair up today um i don't know about anyone else i never dry it properly when i'm here i like the the extra coolness on my head but yesterday i don't know what i look like <laughs> so i'm like just tie it up karen but we've just come for a walk we're having a late breakfast it's 10 o'clock um and we've come to one of our favorite little restaurants and it's right next door to our hotel so that's our hotel the rosen center which is a convention center and denny's so we're going to go and have a denny's breakfast and then we don't really know what we're doing yet do we no literally shopping i think we've got a, re a reservation at Epcot, uh, this afternoon um but yeah quite a, a meander day until we get over there yeah because it's um what's it beat the rocks or rock garden or well it's a concert series in Epcot so we've got um, a, a restaurant booked to do the d dining package there so that's what we're doing later on so I think we're going to do a bit of shopping whether it's a mall pins well I don't know yet but nice lazy day because we're on holiday oh my word you're coming here and the only issue you've got is all of the meals I should tell you the calories <laughs> But I suppose if I leave the camera on, there's, as we all know, there's no calories if you're doing it for research. But look at that one. Salted caramel and banana dream. Oh my word. And how many? 1, 140. Oh my word. That's like half of, well it's over, one, one half of a woman's daily intake. That should be 2,000. Oh my word. And look at this one. Chocolate. Oh, wrong one. Chocolate pancake breakfast. So look what we've just ordered. We've ordered a side between us. They come in six and tens, and we've got six with a dip. And these are strawberry pancake puppies. So go on then, Phil, have a bite and tell us what it's like. Right, and this would be white chocolate, I think. It doesn't say. You can be the taste tester. I have no idea. It's chocolate. I bet that's chocolate. No, it's like a frosting. Is it? It's go on then. It's go on then. Because you don't wear lipstick. Well, not that I'm aware of. <laughs> go on then. Let's. You 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 got the biggest one. It's an extra okay. Right. Okay. Okay. They're actually really warm as well. Uh, are they really warm? Go on then. Really good. Can we see inside it? Can you see strawberry bits? The first thing of the day, yeah. Right. The first item of the day sweet as well. Oh, so it's a bit like a cake, isn't mm. it? Yeah. Sorry, I'm going to continue with this. <coughs> really, they are. They're, ow, ow, there we go. They're really hot as well. Beautiful, yeah. We'll leave you to eat them in peace. Yeah, thank you. Karen's turn. I knew you'd get me. But look, because I've done it more later. Like, look, you can see the strawberry inside. They're really nice and they're not yeah, like a pancake. I want to do a bit of frosting. Okay. And Phil just said what they're actually like is a hot, warm donut. <gasps> a sugar donut, yeah. And it's like, yeah. I need to record me eating them all because then I can have another portion because there's no calories. Junior French dogs, all right, and for you. She's never stuck for words, is she? <laughs> These are really nice. <laughs> we just took a bite because we didn't realise we forgot. So, I, had, I had two grapes. So Phil's had eggs, bacon, fruit, and he's not been that good because look, there's a pile of multi grain pancakes. But they're multi grain pancakes, so. Do you really but, believe but, that's but I, just divine? But I understand, they're not fat free. I don't live in Karen's world. Oh, you should. It's a lovely place. There's pink clouds and flying elephants. It's not fat free. <laughs> and then I've just had, look, see, mouthful. Okay. Eggs and bacon and some toast. See you on the other side. I'm really excited. I wonder why. <laughs> we're going shopping, but we're not going any old shopping. Sorry, I'm not driving as well as I should be. It's all new. Um, we're not going to the mall. We're not going to the outlets. We're not going to Disney. We're going to Booster Packs and beyond the pin store. It's going to be very difficult. I have a budget, i.e. what's in my purse. But 
I can dream, I can wish. But I'm hoping that they have some of the old mystery packs, um, the main electric main street or main street ones. I'd really like some of them if we can get those, which they might do because they have older packs. So we'll see when we get there. But I am very, very, very excited. We were just uh, chatting about hotels and this time obviously we're not staying in a Disney hotel I think this is really important and if you can't afford a Disney hotel it doesn't mean anything it doesn't matter where you stay so long as you're comfortable and some of the value hotels I find too basic if, uh, if I'm really honest and I take my own bedding because that's how I feel comfortable so you've got to do what's best for you and we stayed in the Rosen and we don't mind sharing what it cost us because we did book it very last minute um, and I think the flight was £1,100 for the two of us yeah. uh, but that was direct and that was we booked with Thompson and we use the sky scanner a lot sometimes we book package deals but the majority of the times we just book it all ourselves individual elements so we go on sky scanner and we find the the cheapest but the best flights because sometimes the cheapest flights aren't the best because you've got multiple stops and that's one of the reasons we're able to come so often is we we tend to do flights that have one stop i wouldn't do two stops because <laughs> because by the time you'll get you get here you're that ex exhausted instead of hitting jet lag about day two or three you got jet lag for the first three or four days you're shattered really shattered so that's how we do it we we, we do the ones where we have a stop um, but this one was so cheap well it's not cheap but compared to other flights and last minute um, £550 each and that was direct which is fabulous and then the hotels because it was spring break in America when we got here on the Saturday the prices Disney prices they were silly weren't they what were they 2000 some of them just under 2000 for the um uh, for a for week? The, yeah, for, for the week in the likes of the Pop Century. Well, the Pop Century was really difficult to find because it, uh, obviously it's been refurbished. But for All Star Sports, for those type of hotels, it was just under 2000 sterling. £2,000, which is, what, $2,600 for a week? Crikey! So, no, we, we wouldn't pay that. And... Um, I've stayed at quite a few of the value hotels and I like the moderate ones now and um, well <laughs> truth be known I like the deluxe <laughs> but you know I like the moderate I think for me that's what I I feel comfortable in I my idea of a holiday is going away and having something equal or nicer than you have at home um, I've never been a camping girl I was always a, a, a glamping girl so it was a bit I used to buy the blow-up air mattress so it was like what three foot off the floor not on the floor so yeah I'm a bit like that um, but yeah if I'm staying in a hotel and it's more of a budget one I do take a duvet and pillows because then I wrap myself up and I feel comfy in one quarter but mile we're in the road. right onto International Drive South we're at the Rosen Centre and for a week we paid £500, which is about uh, $625, I think, for a week. So that's a heck of a difference. And for us, it's it's great. The room's fabulous, but it's fabulous for two because of the storage facilities in there. There's two double beds, but there's just not enough storage. Um, but we're loving it, aren't we? Yeah, the Rosen Centre, we really have a heart for it. We stayed there on our first visit 2004, 2005 at Christmas when the children were really young. Um, I think it's our fourth visit, but it's a fantastic yeah. property. It's a conference hotel, so it has all the facilities. It's the one end of International Drive, but the price for the week, as Karen just said, was amazing um, for it not to be a, a, a sort of a, a two or a three star budget hotel. Yeah, it was a viable option yeah. because a lot of the time, um, I know people wonder why don't you go to Europe more, but Europe, the hotel, we find the quality is sort of older run establishments and they're not always as new. Um, that's in our findings. And also, a lot of the time, it's dearer than coming to America. Which is crazy because a flight to for us to go to say Mallorca is two hours, but to come here it was nine this time. So, so that's why. So we did all of this on a budget. So it cost us sixteen hundred pounds, which is uh, about eighteen hundred dollars, something like that. It's one point three to the pound at the moment, which made it an, a more affordable week rather than paying 
what, three and a half thousand dollars to stay in a Disney property. one tenth of a mile, so, okay. turn left onto West Erlo Bronson Memorial Highway. Getting close. So, okay, Phil's having to drive because we haven't got the Disney transportation, but, you know, so tonight when we're, ooh, I need to start looking. So tonight. In one quarter mile, turn left. We're nearly there. We're going to get a taxi. Uh, we are going to get a taxi so he can have a beer around Epcot. Um, yeah. Where is it, Phil? Uh, well, it's on the left somewhere um, and we're very close. It looks like we've got a slightly U turn. So I think it's going to be just over here because it's saying 0 0.2 miles. Ah, okay. So it's just over here, I would imagine, if you keep your eyes open because I've got to go up another. Um, this is over by Giordano's in Kissimmee, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah. But just quickly, anyone in the UK who's looking for car hire, if you go direct to the car sites themselves, it is silly prices. It's more than double. Yeah, it yeah. is silly prices because Phil finds the deals and I just go on the holiday. <laughs> the deals because Karen would just yeah. say I'll book it but yeah. of course I have to pay yeah so, so I hate I hate doing that um but he books through Virgin and even though we were on a two-way flight and we booked the Rose and through Travel Republic and uh, we booked the car through Virgin and we paid 250 pounds for a week and that was with the collision world uh, damage waiver and all the insurances so yeah anyway we're here let's have a look I don't know if it's like a shop within it.
So, I know Phil has been filming inside while I was busy shopping and oh boy did I shop up a storm. But come and check them out, they're fantastic. Michelle and her daughter Marissa. And this is what it looks like over the top. So that's what you're looking for. Booster packs and beyond. They have so many pins. And all around the corner. I'm not going to get any people in. But all around the corner as well. And it's really, really easy to find. So come over, check them out. Uh, yeah, and I'm really thrilled. I've managed to get two LEs I really wanted. And I've finished my Sleeping Beauty pin set because they're completely sold out. And so I've got a complete set now. So thrilled to pieces. So yeah, where are we going now, Phil? What are we going to do? I think you're the boss. I did quite well. I didn't spend $200. I've got $2 change. <laughs> fantastic shop so if you're looking for it and you want to know where it is come down to old Kissimmee over the road there you've got the old town sign and it's on the same block as Machine Gun America it's a, inside the big Eagle gift store which is actually a flea market you go through the doors head towards the tattoo parlor on the right make a left and it's just there on the right We've got, we think that's Little Richard up there. So yeah, fantastic. We love it, we'll be back. Did we spend all of our budget? No, we never spend our budget. Somebody <laughs> spends our budget, not we. There's no we in money with Karen. I did ask you. You hadn't got a clue what I was doing there. So our budget now has stretched us to fountain water in Epcot and a shared ice cream. Yeah, and it's food and wine. Okay, oh so dear. There, there oh you dear. go. We'll be back. Lovely. Come and check them out. Yeah, allow some time though because there's so many cases to go through. There's thousands. Yeah, they so many thousands. pins. And they change yeah. all the time. And she just told us she's got 30,000 new pins. Ready to coming bring in. in. Yeah. Yeah. And I won't be here. That's good. <laughs> I was waiting for you to say that.